how does this lens compare to a Leica? Check out the images at the end. Hello and welcome to another video. It's been a while, I know, and I feel I have to apologise. Just a little bit. And I coin a phrase in this called the YouTube yips, but we're going to do a dedicated video to the YouTube yips. So if you've never been here before, and you've never seen my channel. I like to talk. I love landscape photography, but I'll try anything. And I really, really love to experiment. But first off, I want to say a huge thanks to everyone that came over and said hello to me at the photography show. Mind blown. Incredible. I want to say a huge thanks to my good friend Gary Goff and everyone on the Nissi stand for giving me the chance to have a chat there. But I did get time to stand with the celebrities, which was overwhelming. But what was more overwhelming, not just meeting Nick Page and seeing Tom or Sean Tucker or spending time with the big man himself, Gary Goff, but it was seeing all you guys coming over to me and saying what you thought of what I do in a nice way and supporting me and saying how much you enjoy the content on YouTube. So I owe you guys an apology because of the YouTube yips and me not getting off to a... <sighs> Let's say there's been a lot in the way this year for me to be putting out videos as much as I'd like. Stopped, lost, scuppered. I had a bit of the YouTube yips. We'll talk more about that in a future video. I quite like that term, YouTube yips. I'll coin that one. If you don't know what yips are, it's a bit of a golfing scenario. You can, you know, you get a, get a twitch just as you're going to put. Well, it's a bit like that with the YouTube yips. Just as you're going to say something to the camera. Whew, it's gone. But I've carried on and I have created quite a bit of work from Scotland, which is coming next. And of course, from here today, the video you're about to see from Salford Keys and some time in fog and mist in a beautiful woodland. There's so much I want to share with you, so please stick around. And if you've never watched my channel, I'm Mali Photography and I never shut up. I try to make some videos sometimes that are a little bit more cinematic because I love to be creative. So if that's your bag, stick around or watch some more of my content down below. So why am I here today? Why am I back with this short video? I say short, it's a little bit different for me. I like to do that. I like to mix things up. If you watch regular, you'll notice this one is a POV around Salford Keys using a TT Artisans 32mm I didn't have much hope for lens. I shouldn't say that, I'm being quite cruel, but a surprise, a real surprise. TT Artisans reached out to me and said, we would like to send you some lenses. And, and I've been looking for a 28 millimeter and they all seem to be the crop sensor and I shoot full frame. So I chose this odd <laughs> focal length of 32 millimeters. And you know what? I had a lot of fun with this lens. It's uh, styled quite Leica-esque and it's a 2.8. And let me just say the, the premise of this video, the reasons behind it, is many years ago when you started out, I reached for a 50 mil 1.8 prime, nifty 50 as Canon like to call it. And I got my first Pentax 50 mil um, lens and just wow loved it love shooting with it never perfect the images were were just they had a flavor and that's what this lens brings it has a style and a flavor that is unique and quite I wouldn't say retro I'm not into all this because I use a Z7 and why would I put on a retro lens I know a lot do, and it can be a lot of fun, but this was just to see what an inexpensive lens could do 
around Salford Keys, especially around the architecture. Difficult to get the straight edges, to get the light and shooting in the dark with high ISOs. I noticed some streaming and vignetting, but it all added to a certain style and flavour of photography. So stick around to the end and see the pictures. It was a lot of fun using this lens and it costs less than £160 for a Nikon Z mount which is unbelievable. A new style of mount for the mirrorless cameras. You can also get this available for most other mounts, Canon, Sony. I think TT Artisans do a lot for Sony actually, and Nikon. But to get a Z mount lens that's a metal bayonet, yeah, metal, a metal lens hood, and just quite cool styling. But a lot of fun to use, and especially around Salford Keys because you've got these neon lights streaming uh, kind of optics coming off this lens and shooting wide open as well, which should have produced a lot of soft results for this price. And to my surprise, I won't say any more. Watch the rest of the video and leave me your comments down below. Press big button. See there. So you join me walking into the backside of the Keys. I come in this way because there's a cracking bit of free parking round the far side. We're walking down past the Imperial War Museum and this catches my eye, the shape of the building from this side. I take this shot and I flip it sideways. It reminds me of like a sculpture or some kind of they just remind me of African masks. I got quite caught up in those and took a few more shots, but was only happy with those two. And then here's the the, the start of it, really, where the wonder goes into dark. As you can see, it's sunset. Look at that golden glow on the side of the building. I just managed to capture it. I thought, black and white as well. Yeah, I quite like that. What do you think? I think it's interesting to see metal and steel and architecture in black and white and quite a few of these shots work well but of course the lights, she can see the red glow on the Imperial War Museum. I didn't take a shot of this and the guys going past on bikes, I wish I'd have got one of that. But the BBC Studios here always looks great, the reflections. <laughs> Just all around you hear reflections and the lights as the sun is dying. Ah, it was a moment that, I had, I had quite a moment. I was surprised here now at the 32 millimeter. I felt it might be too restrictive. I didn't swap lenses, I stuck to one lens. Later on I felt I could have done with a wider focal length, but stayed true throughout the whole video using the TT Artisans 32mm. Most of the shots here from now on I didn't include, either I wasn't happy with them or I was rushing. Um, don't know why, could have stopped here for quite some time. I've shot this bridge before and it never really appeals. I'm not sure there's something about it. I find the wires get in the way. So I, I'm at a shallow depth of field now, 2.8 throughout, and I'm wandering. I'm around the back end here now, proper just areas I've never walked before, and I wish I'd got a shot here now with this lady and the steel, uh, the shutters. It could have been interesting. Then headed back to the buildings, and of course, the beautiful reflections. Everyone's still working. I'm walking past with a camera and that's the BBC Studios. I'm looking out towards the Imperial War Museum and the reflections. This was great fun. I'm, I'm getting into my stride now and thinking about composition. And here is where it just wasn't quite wide enough. Ah, playing around. I think I'm chunnering to myself on the GoPro. I like this, but as you can see, it is a wide angle shot. It didn't work with the 32. So I hope you've enjoyed the style and this presentation of my images. There's, there's a few at the end, not the usual 20, 30 images. It was, um, 
It was great to just be out walking around here and no one, undisturbed, not even security bothered me. So let me know your thoughts down below. Please give me a like. Don't forget to subscribe. See there.